Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we got our party back! And I have a special guest with me today. Please introduce yourself, good sir. I cannot hear you at all, dude. Hold on. I'm just making you look like a fool on camera. How dare you! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is the first thing Thrasho 2 does on April's channel. <laughs> Cry, kitty. Anyways, <laughs> what are you doing today, good sir? I'm doing fine, just dandy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> just messing with my friends, calling Zodiac Chubby Baby some more. <laughs> chubby Baby, Chubby Baby. Hopefully, he'll see this uh, this episode and he'll be like, "What the? F you guys?" <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Calling him Chubby Baby. Yeah, there's a story behind that, but you'll have to subscribe to me or Zodiac to find it out. <laughs> yes, subscribe to the both of them because they are yep. awesome we'll link people. Both channels in the description. Oh yes, definitely. Or his annotations on the screen. Either one. Either one. I think I'll probably Don't put it. Jump a cliff. I know. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just like standing there, just waiting for them to not jump off the cliff. Thinking, they know oh. they've got that NPC follow jump or teleport or whatever they do, so I they know. just don't care. They don't care, and if I jump off the cliff and I have to start all over again, it's annoying. Yeah, there's no such thing as a bottomless pit in uh, Kingdom Hearts. I do kind of like that because you can always find the bottom of the pit, but it's also kind of weird for places like this because they're atmospheric and they always have to have a bottom. Exactly. Oh, I love this world, because it gives so many experience points. Yeah. I hope Bastion is an amazing grinding spot until you get to the next world. Oh, yeah. The f the final, final world. <laughs> I kept thinking that this was the final world, and then I remembered, no, it's not. Gosh, April. Jeez. Well, I like to... I would have called... If I, like, when I eventually do this game, because I'm probably going to do this game sometime down the line, I'll probably not mention uh, the last world, just... As make it seem like it's coming out of nowhere. Yeah. I like to leave a little myst mystery in case somebody hasn't seen this before. And even if they have seen this before, thus just recapturing it that through, through fresh eyes for the first time. You know what's going to happen, but you pretend you don't know, so you can have that same experience over again. Exactly. That's how I play through. Mm hmm. Exactly. Kind of makes me excited for when we record the next episode together. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Because, you know, we we fight that D-bag, Riku, again. Riku character. I don't know, like, part of me likes him, the other half I'm just like, oh. <laughs> well, I, first game, he's mostly controlled by Maleficent, and I'm... Maleficent is a great people uh, manipulator, even better than me. Exactly. <laughs> You're not a manipulator, oh, dude. Oh, thing. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. We just kind of stand there, just kind of look around, enjoy the scenery. Let's go on. Yes. Oh my goodness. Where is it? Witches? Where are you, witches? I don't know. I witches like- Witches need witches. Saha! We found the witches! Uh, wizard, I think they're actually called. Oh. Burn the witches! <laughs> I know- I know the names of a good amount of the Heartless. See, so, you're so much better than I am. I'm just like, get them. <laughs> heartless. I'll try to. I'll try to tell you the name of it. Okay. Hold on a second, pickle. He's trying to find the name of it. No, name a heartless. I'll tell you the name of it. Like, well, not name it because that would defeat the purpose. But describe it. Oh, a shiny crystal. That's not a heartless. I know, <laughs> but still, it's like, oh, um, okay. How about the. Well, I was going to say, what about the bunny weapons? But those are called heartless, right? They're called shadows. Oh, shadows, that's right. But they look default like... enemy, default heartless. Those are the shadows. Okay. Well, that makes sense. They're pure heartless. There's a difference between pure heartless and the synthetic heartless, but you're gonna have to play days to figure that one out. Ooh, I don't have days. <laughs> I have hours, it... but <laughs> it's not great. It's it's a single player game meant for multiplayer. Oh, okay. Anyways, yeah, name a name a heartless other than the bunny wabbits. The bunny wabbits. Um, okay, how about the um, those little magician guys who kinda of fly around in Alice in Wonderland? The One. little 
magician guys. They are uh, like the yellow and the green and the blue. And the red. A different has a different name. I think the the yellow ones are yellow opera or not yellow opera, yellow operas. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're they specialize in thunder. The red ones are red nocturnes. They specialize in fire. The green ones are are green requiems. They specialize in cure. Uh, there are more as the series goes on. Like I know in Kingdom Hearts 2, you've got the Crimson Jazz, which you lay those firebomb things. Oh. Each of them just have basically a color and then a type of music, and that's their name, and they each specialize in a different form of magic. They get more complicated as the series goes on, though. Oh, that's so cool. I never... I, I'm pretty sure I heard of it before, but it's like I'd never heard it in like such good detail. So thank you for that, good sir. Black ball things are called dark balls. Those dragon things are wyverns. Oh, goodness. What's happening? I know, ah! I know my cage. Uh, what other heartless? Um, 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 um. How about those big round guys? Big round guys? Yeah, you meet them in Alice in Wonderland, and then there's another form of them in uh, Agrabah. Big. Large bodies? Yes, all oh, large bodies. Duh. My goodness. I'm having multiple brain parts today. Grab ya! I'd have eaten that burrito. It sounds really good right now. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I'll go. I'll never use magic, so that's not really gonna be too helpful to you. Yeah. I don't know. Normally, I don't use magic, except for, you know, use Kira. Well, mostly when I'm fighting those um, those song enemies, because like if you use fire on a a, a blue, I forget what the blue ones are. I forgot what they're called. But the blizzard ones, yeah. if you use fire on them, it'll be it'll be super effective. It'll get some tech some tech points, and it'll kill it in one hit. Same thing if you use blizzard on a red nocturne. Um, I don't think you can really do anything to the yellow opera, operas, or... Why do we keep calling them operas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Opera! <laughs> That's great. But did you catch that one disease that turned your skin yellow? I forget what it's called. Hmm. Thing. I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. We'll worry about it later. We'll probably remember it when we're asleep or something like that. That's what it is. Happens to me all the time. That's what I had to do today. Dang it. Yeah, I also like to use, like, my shortcut. I usually keep triangle as fire, square as arrow, because that is a very helpful spell. Mm -hmm. And uh, X is cure, of course. Yeah. Is the most helpful spell in the game. Definitely. Which saved my butt multiple times in this the rest of this episode and the upcoming episode. It's like, oh gosh, thank you for shortcut magic. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, when you cure and you get hit by an enemy and it cuts your animation and you and you stop curing, Ugh. a way you can do that is jump slightly in the air by tapping X, then cure while you're while you're in midair. Mm -hmm. You'll uh, Sora will cast cure, he'll hit the ground, it'll stop the animation, it'll cut the animation in about half. You'll still get the cure, and it'll um, keep enemies from hitting you. They can still hit you, but it reduces the chance because the animation is shorter, but it still counts. Awesome. I think I actually did that uh, in the fight with Riku. I'm not entirely sure, but... I mean, the upcoming fight with Riku, not the last one, but... Switching to gravity to make it easier to get these things? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, I never use items. I, I never give my party members items either because it's stupid time. Or they use them on each other. I'm sorry, Donald and Goofy, but your HP is expendable. Mine is valuable. If you faint, you'll get up back up in two minutes. If I faint, it's game over. Exactly. So Donald and Goofy, they use items on each other, which is honestly a terrible thing. I mean, ethers for Donald, I can understand that is valuable. But if they're using potions on each other, then that's not a good idea. And potions on Goofy, since he never really uses MP for anything all that useful, that's not a good thing either. I mean, he's got his special attacks and stuff, but he doesn't 
but I, those aren't really all that helpful, I find. Normally, well, especially for Donald, I try to give him ethers. Especially when I know it's like, oh, I'm definitely going to be needing him to cure me 24-7. So. Lose air ethers on. Yeah. Uh, choose, choose arrow. Arrow is really nice. I like, whenever I'm in a boss fight or something, I always use arrow. I know you're not using your summons, like, at all. I, I don't use summons. It's too much time. Ooh, cutscene. Ooh. Shut up now. <laughs> right about now. Now. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah, uh, the key Impossible. bit play that unlocks people's the hearts. Is a part are all here. It must be her. I don't think it's technically a real keyblade, though. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. Without her heart. Sixteen. She will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. He's glowing. He's his own nightlight. <laughs> Yay! Now he won't be afraid of the dark anymore. <laughs> uh, I made it funny. Well, it wasn't that funny, but it was funny to me. Alright, so uh, this part I just... I don't know why I put items on everyone because I was like, just in case she tries to kick our butt, but this battle with her was actually quite easy. So it's an AP ups. Why haven't you used those yet? I don't know. I think don't you have to use these or use those in order to synthesize? No, you can synthesize them, I think, but they're not synthesis in they're not synthesis ingredients. They're just like things to increase your base power and stuff. Yeah. Permanent. Use them all on Sora. Oh, Do not put them on Donald and Goofy. I will not ever put them on Donald and Goofy. But um, definitely the next time I record, I'm going to use those up and whatnot. But you can only use all of those on Sora. Like as, the second you get one, it's like cool. Use on Sora. Mhm. Mm all right, and so the count on the word heart or hearts is now up to sixteen. <sighs> the time they say heart. Yeah, heart, hearts, heart, 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 hearts. It's like, dude. Have a little in the in the in the in the corner and make a little ding every time it comes up. I know. <laughs> I'm going to do that. It's like, ah, oh, that's wonderful. But I accidentally missed the a couple. Legend of the heart container and just <laughs> ding. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I hate putting items because it takes too long. Gosh. Anyways, oh well. I'm just complaining. What did you try to say something? Oh, not really. Oh. Well, I said surprised you didn't try to cut this out. I know. I was going to, but then we just kept talking. It's like, <laughs> oh. I'm afraid you're too late. No, we're not. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unsealed. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. <laughs> After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. So happy. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Looks like such a cool villain. I know. But this... This is the Maleficent fight. She's going to be using. She's going to be on this rock thing, and you have to smack it and make her fall. Then you have a chance to attack her. She'll be using all kinds of different magic to pound you and still summon Heartless, like these guardians here. So, as long as you, like, keep your wits about you, you should be fine. 
this, the first time I ever played this game, I was so confused and didn't know what I was doing, but this time around, I was like, this is so easy. <laughs> easy Maleficent fight. Yeah, the, the easy version. <laughs> yeah, on, like, spoilers, she turns into a dragon. Like, <gasps> no! I did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah. I would be disappointed if they didn't put that in this game. I know! Oh my but that was that was the part where I got massively stuck when I first played. Eventually, I I got through it when I uh, figured out, oh, I can use summons. Tinker Bell is awesome. Oh, you know what Tinker? Sorry, were you saying something about Tinker Bell? I'm just like, what is happening? Okay, yeah. Do you know what Tinker Bell does? Isn't it? Uh. No, that's Bambi. Doesn't she, like, hear the party members or something? Yeah. She'll go around and hear each one of you, and since she's a fairy, she can bring you back from the dead if you die. Like, just like in Legend of Zelda. She is just like like that. She's a fairy in a bottle, basically. That's awesome. Yeah, Tinkerbell is amazing, and she helped me out massively when I uh, fought Maleficent for the second time. Mm. She, like, the other summons are okay, but they're pretty fleeting. They they are very much so. Kind of good. Wait, we haven't got them yet though. Are we fighting her in this episode? I think we're fighting her in the next episode. So. Oh, here. Yes. Yeah, with that, I think that I think that like a little, does something with MP. Yes. Oh my goodness. MP haste! Yeah! So oh yeah, that nice. I'm just like... I laugh at myself whenever I watch myself play games, or you know. Because I'm like, Self, why don't you hurry up? Why are you being so slow? <laughs> That's why I do to play games in real time. Mm -hmm. I keep doing post commentary. It's, it's weird because I don't have control. I, I'm a control freak. And, like, if I need to pause to say something, I can do that. Mm-hmm. Hmm, go Metal Chocobo? Well, I guess you're not a magic user. <laughs> no, um, but I think we're coming up to the end of the episode. So, in the next episode, we will go fight Maleficent again and beat Riku again. It's going to be exciting. Kyrie's heart. <laughs> Look, we can't wait for that to come up. I know. I can't. Anyways, goodbye, everybody. Be cool, save often, and don't... Oh. Fine. <laughs> Sorry.